What is going on everyone? Today I have a special snake. One that gets a bad reputation. Did you see that? But an awesome snake regardless. It's a snake I've had since a baby. You already know what it is by the title, but let's get to it. Anyways, before we begin, remember I'm a professional. Don't attempt anything you see. All right. None other than the mangrove pit viper. Now we start with the taxonomy, naming, labeling, classifying organisms. The scientific name for this snake, as you can see, struck at me. Name the snake. Defensive, not aggressive. Scientific name, Trimercerus purpureo maculatus. Probably pronouncing that wrong, but oh well. A few different common names. Like I mentioned, mangrove pit viper, also shore pit viper. So let's move on to a little description about these. Now these come in different colors, some purple. This one was very purple as a baby. Now it's dark, darker than it was. Some jet black, some green, even the belly is variable many different colors. They get, males are smaller than females. Males get around two feet long, maybe a little longer. Females around three feet, maybe a little bit longer. Awesome. Now these are arboreal. They're found in Southeast Asia. Arboreal meaning up off the ground in the trees but these are gonna be hanging out in the mangroves. Given their common name, mangrove pit viper, found along in the mangroves. You see the tail shaking too? So let's just talk about some descriptions of them. Some more description, I guess. Behaviors, shaking of the tail like a rattlesnake. Again, many snakes use that as defense. If it's in the leaf litter, it makes a sound. And even if it's in the mangroves, hitting against the branches, making sound, scare away potential predators. And as I mentioned about them being having a bad reputation, being very defensive, but not all of them are like that. Now the black ones are awesome looking. And these guys, <laughs> these guys have a reputation of being defensive, highly defensive. This one does live up to that reputation. Even as a baby, look at how cute this is. Strikes and falls over. Adorable. So some may be very laid back like any animal. A lot of them will be very defensive like this one. We call it defensive because when you think of aggression, it, like a mammal coming up to you, you're backing up, it's still coming to you, either nice or mean. But aggression, it's gonna pursue you. Snake will never do that. Now these will defend themselves, like I said. That could be just approaching it too closely and or messing with it to get it to strike. So some animals takes less, and that's on an individual basis. Some takes less to get them to strike out. Some take a lot more, very tolerant. Let's talk about their venom. Now their venom 
nematoxic, cytotoxic. And the way they deliver the venom to prey, being a viper, they have those long hinge-like hypodermic needles. They bite the prey, inject the venom. That's how they do that. Now, like I said, they're gonna be in the mangroves. So a lot of people will be on boats, riding in the water along the mangroves, and that's how they find them. And the prey they eat, they'll eat little lizards, frogs, small mammals, opportunistic. So they'll sit and wait and take what, whatever they can get. Now being arboreal, they can't afford to lose the prey. So they'll bite and hold on. Unlike terrestrial species, they'll bite and release. Again, arboreals can't afford to lose that prey item. So they'll bite, hold on, injecting that venom. As I mentioned, I've had this one since a little baby. It's been defensive since then. You can see how cute it was as a little tiny baby striking and falling over. Adorable. Now this one's typically way more defensive. Usually shaking its tail nonstop and striking nonstop. This is a different location. Now I've mentioned it many times, different locations can go either way cause a snake that's calm to go can be very defensive in a different location some just unsure of the area can be more laid back it's kind of what's going on here usually this one's bolting and striking like i said and shaking its tail so a lot of times when i go to a reptile show for instance and i bring an animal back that unsure that unsure characteristic is um, I can get away with things that I wouldn't be able to get away with once they settle in. But again, it's not always the case. So I'm gonna be psychotic in a different location. But yeah, mangrove pit viper, awesome snake, Southeast Asian pit viper, amazing animal, bad reputation. You can decide if it's deserved or not. And then there's, like I mentioned, some of them very laid back. But anyways, I'll be back soon with more. Hope you enjoyed. Love you all. Subscribe if you're new. Take care, everyone. Y'all are the best. This is the most behaved that's ever been. Awesome. Did you see that?